once I got there, I realized that um, I had kind of been catfished <laughs> by my school. And honestly, I kind of feel like that is the theme of my life right now. Stress. Ah! <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna like start the video. Hi, my name is Charity for everyone who is new here or anyone who hasn't seen my face before. And today I just like wanna talk about being in your 20s and like feeling lost and I just, I don't know. I'm here because I feel like my life is a mess and I don't know really know how to figure it out, basically. First, I feel like I owe anyone who's watching this video or has like followed my channel in the past an apology slash an explanation on what happened to me, <laughs> where I was, and why I left. So for those of you who don't know, I started off this channel as a natural hair channel and I didn't really get any views until I posted like my third or fourth video, which is still my most viewed video, and that is my natural hair journey video. In that video, I talk about my transition from having severe heat damaged hair. I'm talking to the point where I literally didn't think that my hair was curly because it looked straight all the time. And I just thought like something was wrong with me and my hair and like I, that I had naturally straight hair, even though I'm black. <laughs> that sounds so crazy to say, but that's literally what I thought was happening to me. I just talk about how I come to transition my hair back to its naturally curly state and basically how I had to relearn what it's like to do my hair because I had no clue what I was doing with my hair. And that video received so much love, so many views. It is still, like I said, the most viewed video on my channel. I think it's sitting close to like 18 to 20 thousand views right now which i know in this grand scheme of youtube is not that much but like i said that was my i think third or fourth video i had ever posted on this website and even though i had put a lot of effort into it and i wanted people to watch it i was really overwhelmed by the amount of people that watched it which is so funny to me now because i remember when i was younger and i'd watch um youtubers talk about how seeing the rapid growth of their channel stressed them out and they like felt overwhelmed and they didn't know what to post next i remember watching that and thinking well you just keep doing what you're doing duh just post more duh <laughs> and then i was actually put in that situation and i just felt kind of i guess paralyzed by the expectation to make perfect videos if that makes any sense. And even now, I still kind of feel like that paralyzation, like the anxiety of like, oh, well, what if I want to do this or this or that? And so I just don't post anything at all, which isn't good. Yeah, that's the short and sweet of it. I uh, was really overwhelmed <laughs> and I didn't know what to do next. And then as time went on, I honestly feel like I have grown out of what I initially wanted this channel to be. Like I said, I started out this channel as a natural hair channel because after gaining confidence in my curly hair, I felt really empowered by that. I felt really empowered to like be a black girl who knew how to do their own hair, who wore their naturally curly hair and was like proud of that. But now, it's so sad to say, I just don't like resonate with that message anymore and I really wish I did because in a lot of ways I feel like I'm letting everyone down who watched that video and was inspired by me. So many people in the comments like saw me as a role model in a sense because they felt like if I could change the course of my hair so could they and I almost felt like in my personal life even though I wasn't uploading anymore I owed it to those people to continue living the natural lifestyle, if that makes any sense. That's not to say that I don't still live like a natural lifestyle, but I feel like I was one of those people in the past who was a like, what's the word, what are they calling it? Like natural hair warriors. I don't think I personally like imposed my views 
my opinions on what to do with your hair onto someone else. I just was like so anti-heat for so long because I saw what it did to me. I saw what it did to me and it ruined my hair and I just like didn't want that to happen again. But yeah, now as I'm getting older, as I'm getting more mature, I don't feel the same way that I once did in my natural hair and it's like so sad and yet almost embarrassing I feel to admit that because I don't have the time to do my hair like I once did. <laughs> After I posted that video um, I went back to school. I mean I was in school but it was locked down so we weren't in school. When I went back to school and then I transferred from my community college to an even bigger for your university and like life ooh, life happened and i just found i'm finding i guess is the better word that living the curly girl lifestyle is not as sustainable for me as i had hoped or i once thought it was i just don't have the time for it and it hurts me because i love my hair but at the current pace and a rate that I'm doing my hair. I don't love my hair and I'm not taking care of it the way I should so it keeps getting more damaged and like that makes me not like it anymore and ah! There was so much stress. So much stress. And honestly I kind of feel like that is the theme of my life right now. Stress. So that is the reason why I left slash didn't upload for a while until I came back a little bit a couple months ago and for the people that did watch those videos, mwah, I truly appreciate it. But I almost feel like I wasn't completely myself in them. I feel like I'm more myself right now, but at the point. And I wanna talk to you about like my life now and the way it's changed. So after that video, like I said, I got accepted to a four year university, a really great one. I don't feel like saying which school I go to on the internet, so I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> but it's a good one. Once I got there, I realized that um, I had kind of been catfished <laughs> by my school. The education that I thought that I was going to be getting was nothing like what it actually was slash is because I'm still in school. I have one more quarter of school left. That like was really hard for me to cope with my first year. So I was dealing with that. And then I also had a breakup. Ugh. That sounds like so silly, I know. Oh my God, you had a breakup, uh. But here's the thing, I had been in this relationship for like two and a half years and it was my first relationship ever. So my life was changing so incredibly rapidly. And here I was put in this situation where I'm living away from home for the first time. Everything that I thought I was getting into was not what I was getting into at all and something that had been like a stable figure in my life, this relationship, was now gone. Poof, disappeared after two and a half years. So life at college was really transformative for me in that sense. I genuinely had to start figuring out who I was again because something that I experienced, which I'm sure a lot of you all have experienced if you've ever been in a long-term relationship, is that after being together with someone for so long, I genuinely forgot like what it felt like to be single. And so beyond the breaking up with this person, I was like kind of scared <laughs> to navigate the world alone again, in a sense, because even though I wasn't like alone alone, like I was surrounded by people in my dorm and myself all the time, it felt like I was alone because this person who had been with me for so long was no longer a part of my life. And we had also become so like intertwined, like so much of my being was a part of their being because we were together <laughs> for so long. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing necessarily. I think that's just what happens when you have relationships that last that long. You know, your personalities kind of start to meld together. But it was a lot of work that I had to do to Refind myself, I guess you could say. During that time, I gained a bunch of weight and lost a bunch of weight. Well, a bunch is kind of relative, but for me and my frame, it was a lot of weight. And I would like to make a video about that um, in the future as well, because I had to make so many mental shifts in order to become the person that I knew I was underneath all of the weight that I had gained. And I guess like transform. <laughs> like, you know, a uh, butterfly in its cocoon, its chrysalis, 
breaking out and flapping its wings. I don't. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm being silly now. I guess I say all that to say that currently I'm like really lost <laughs> and like still finding myself because I currently only have one quarter of college left after that I'm done and I just really don't know what to do and I feel like no one talks about this. Why is no one talking about this? I spent so much of my life and I feel like we're trained as young people, at least Americans, young people living in America, we're, we're trained to spend so much of our time preparing for college, like all of high school is, let me take this AP class, let me do this extra curriculum, let me do this volunteer work so that I can have something good to put on my college application and that's what I did. I spent three years of community college preparing to go to my four-year university and then I got there and then I was like what's next? What's next? <laughs> and that's kind of the issue. I don't really know what's next and that's a very scary feeling. I know what I desire out of life but I don't really know how to get the things that I desire out of life. That makes sense. Like I have goals and I have wishes. I have aspirations. But right now I'm just a girl like sitting in my mom's apartment <laughs> because I don't know how to get to those goals or aspirations or wishes. It's a very vulnerable feeling. Like I feel very lost and confused and almost like let down. And another thing, I'm at an age where, because I've been living on my own for the past two years while I'm at um, college, I like want to have a place of my own. Now I feel like college is so, <laughs> it's such a setup. It's such like a manipulative setup because now I want to like have my own space, have room to like explore life and my own time and things like that. But I don't have the money to do that. I don't have the money to do that. Like I live in LA and recently I was looking up you know, just just for the fun of it, because like I said, I have no money. I was looking up apartments in the area just to see what they looked like. And it's so bad, it's so bad. I think we have to be in some sort of housing crisis because they're charging $1,200 for a room, a room. And to be fair, it's a really nice room. It's like this new housing style project that I've been seeing in my area where it's like, it'll be like a five or six bedroom apartment that's like really sleek and nice and modern. But you know what that reminds me of? Living in a college dorm. That's exactly what my college dorm situation was like. I really liked the layout of my space and I had a good portion of space to myself, but I was still living with like five other girls. I mean, six people sharing one fridge. That's just, there's no way to get around that not being icky. Blah. It just, everything just feels ridiculous right now. Some things that I have really been enjoying in this new era of my free time, free time, it's not really free time. I'm just like, I don't have a job and I'm lost. <laughs> um, I've been enjoying like, I guess, what some people would say pouring in to myself. It feels a little corny to me, but I've been like working out more and um, trying to find more ways to, I guess, level up myself. I feel like I learned so much when I lost all that weight when I first went to college. It took me a while to get there, but um, there was a lot of mental shifts that I had to make in order to become the person that I am now. Essentially, I was saying goodbye to a version of myself that I no longer wanted to be. Similarly, I feel like I have to say goodbye to this version of myself as I come in to these new steps of life. <laughs> I am still figuring things out, my life out, my content out. I want to continue to make more videos about just myself and life and being a girl in your 20s that doesn't really know what to do next. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, subscribe. <laughs> I'll be so completely honest. I'm trying to get this channel monetized because your girl needs to like pay for her last quarter of school and her rent. So if you want to support me in that venture, like the video, give me a comment down below, watch the whole video. <laughs> Help me increase my watch time, guys. Ooh. 
If you enjoyed listening to me ramble, let me know down in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you again soon. I have some ideas of what I can post next. That's the thing under my sleeve. Okay, bye guys.